Hi everybody, ba 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 ba. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope everybody I'm actually welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm back with a home bargains haul. I'm back with a home bargains haul, which I haven't done for I can't even remember. Uh, I'm looking at yeah. I can't even remember the last time I did a home bargains haul. So I am back with some Easter bits and some essentially kind of bits. Now I picked up one item from Poundland that I will show you somewhere in this video um that i've been after for months and months and months and i finally seen it on the shelf in poundland today so i will show you what i picked up that item from poundland during this video uh if you're new to my channel make sure you hit my subscribe button welcome give it a thumbs up any comments just drop them in the comment box down below thank you to everybody that watched my open and fort william vlog of scotland uh thanks to everyone that watched that now before i go on to uh show you what i picked up um some of you may know i do uh candles and i've just got into wax melts uh i will leave the description for the website which is on etsy uh what i do on there so go over and take a look um, something I haven't shared on my channel actually, I kept it quite private. So in October last year, I found a lump in my neck and um, yeah, so the doctors were a little bit concerned so they put me on the cancer pathway to get tests done. Um, so I had blood, blood tests that come back and some of them weren't that good. So then I had to wait for a scan on the lump um, I had to wait for four months for the scan. Finally got the scan and it was all clear, thank God. So what happened during those four months? I kind of got into candles. So that's basically why I got into candles. So it kind of just took my mind off things. And um, But luckily I'm, I'm just grateful that it weren't obviously obvious. So that's why I do candles. Um, I did candles and then all my stock kind of just sold out. And... I just didn't have the time to make candles again. Um, so I'm back on candles. So what I'm going to do is like a buy one, get one free. So if you are interested in any, any of my candle stuff or wax melts, um, buy them. And then if you put in comments or remarks, uh, just put Danny Ev. So what I do, I'll just send you another item that you purchased for free. So um, I've just gone into wax melts. So I just want to show you what I've kind of gone into um so these are my little etsy site uh so these are like um easter wax melts so i've put them them on there so obviously if you buy one then i'm just going to whack another in as well so and any of 10 percent might be pushing to about 15 percent 10 percent that i've sold will go to cancer research which is is now important to me um so yeah those are the kind of things candles i do candles uh gone into ca uh, glass candle holders have a look have a look uh i've just put loads of new stuff on as well i can mix and match if you do i'm not happy with a color i can do things to i can do colors uh scents whatever you want just send me a message and let me know um so go and support my little candle adventure so on to the haul uh, I'll show you what I picked up from Home Bargains. I'm going to go crack straight into it because we're three minutes already into this video, pushing four minutes. Picked up a Ribena, a large Ribena, and it was £2.29, £2 I think, or £2.49 for a 1.5 litre of Ribena. They do the cartons in there, and I think they're on offer for 79 pence, the cart. Uh, Ribena cartons and the normally a pound, didn't they? So they're on offer as well. I didn't pick up any of those. Picked up that from Poundland. It's just a fragile tape for my candles, uh, parcels that I do send out. That was a pound and that was from Poundland, guys, that one. Um, I picked up some of these here, some Smith's Crisp. I do prefer the bacon ones and they were £1.50 for a six pack. I do believe they're cheaper in Poundland, but in home bargains, they're £1.50. I will show you the Easter bits at the end, guys, all right? Uh, got a dog, got a little doggy. Uh, I think these were 99 pence and just some twos to keep them quiet and you get 15 in there. Then I picked up, <laughs> uh, it's Friday, Friday that we're filming this, so I'm off weekend, so me and, me and Angela are gonna have like a treat Saturday. Um, so just picked up this for, I think it was what, £1.9. 
uh, and it's a ripple roll. Got some custard to go with it. So I picked up that. We normally get the little sponge like the Mr. Kipling's, but they're about two pound and they're teeny. So we picked up that just to use for one pound nine pence. He picked it up, so I'm not sure about the price. Uh, then um, we haven't bought these for anything, but they're just good to have in the cupboard. Uh, some Brillo pads, and I think they're a pound. How old school are Brillo pads? So picked up those, but I think they were a quid. Then I grabbed, uh, these are all good actually. These are the blue, um, blue, yeah. And they were only £1.29 for free. So not bad. Got Obviously got the, this is lavender. Uh, you got obviously your pink and your greens and stuff as well. Then uh, cheaper in Poundland. I think they were a pound in Poundland. Um, pedigree, these were £1.39 in home bargains. If I knew I was going to go into Poundland, I probably would just pick them up from Poundland. Some gravy bones for dog, just to get him in when he doesn't want to come in. Uh, then I grabbed some boring stuff, guys. It was £1.39, I believe, for a 15 metre of kitchen foil. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, that's the oil. Uh, I picked up a large custard and bros had to go with that cake. Can't remember how much that were. And then for £1.89, um, Picked up some of the, the large aloe vera drink, and that's in mango. It's a large bottle for £1.89. Thinking, like, as they're like two plus pounds for them, uh, they do have the original as well. Then I picked up. Uh, picked up this. I don't have roots, but you know that I wear a hair piece. Did you not know? If you do know, if you don't know, then I'm doing a video on that. I've got it. I've just got to edit it. So sometimes the colour, this is my natural hair, that's fake. So normally it's different colour. So that was £1.99 and it's a root, but it's called Root Perfect. And that's in dark, that's in light brown. They do have dark brown, but it beats that L'Oreal one. That L'Oreal one goes everywhere and that's about £5.99. So I picked up that. I'm going to give that a go. It's probably just the same stuff. Um, then I picked up <laughs> uh, picked up some bacon scissors for Doug when he's good, so he hardly gets them. <laughs> then I picked up uh, picked up these. Um, obviously, winter and stuff, your house gets a bit damp. Uh, these are really good. These were one pound ninety nine, and they are. Picked up two, uh, Moisture Trap Damp Control, Combat con Condensation, Absorbs Moisture and Humidity, Improves Air Quality and Fights Musty Odours. One pound, they're quite heavy and quite large, so for £1.99, instead of getting those little boxes, I just thought they looked a bit better and they might they might work better, so I'm going give to give them a try. And then I grabbed... Uh, some sand, no, I didn't get Sanix because it's gone right up. Palm olive, uh, milk and honey, they have the coconut one, and I think this was, was about £1.59. Showing you the boring items first. Then we grabbed the, the Sephora, and that is in the scent, it's new, I haven't seen it before. Cucumber and mint, if you had, if you have smelly vision, it smells like cucumber obviously a mint so we picked up that for one pound 99 guys we we have the blue brew one i think it's blue brew we've had the fresh linen so we thought we'd try the uh cucumber and mint then i grabbed uh and you grab we we don't really go for expensive wipes because they're all pretty much the same i think these were like 79 pence if that uh, 80 wipes and their multi-surface wipes. Always have to have them just for the just for the floor with the dog. Um now onto the little Easter bits guys. Uh, I picked up the got a great Easter section. We went into Hobbycraft after and Hobbycraft is so expensive for AO. Uh am I missing anything before I show you? So I picked up these. Now these are just like I need little Easter bits from my little Easter collection, which I do have on the, that site, which is in this description. Um, 
uh, just to take pictures. So I picked up these. I think they were 99 pence. Just some speckled little part. I think they're polystyrene decorative eggs. So I picked up them for 99 pennies. Then I picked up... <laughs> uh, picked up some of these. Because each year... These are the large speckled eggs. Uh, and they were... I think there was... How much were you? 99 pence or they could have been cheaper and you get five in there. Now these is for the wall here. Uh, we will have other stuff to go on it. Um, so we picked up these. I think they were 99 pence. Then also just for my display for candles because I'll be doing craft fairs at some point. Um, picked up a large roll i know they do it in poundland but i think it's shorter in poundland it's just a fake or it's a table runner but it's just grass which we're going to put i'm going to use it from little props and stuff for my candles but then i'm going to put it across the fireplace as a display and it fit i think it were three pounds so it was three pound three pound something i believe it were um so I picked up that and then i grabbed last few items I picked up these as a display and I can't remember how much they were. Um, but these are going to go. How nice are these? I'll tell you how much they were. Sorry. They're quite nice, actually. Let me show you a bit more closer. Now, be careful because some of them that you buy, the damage, half the eggs are hanging off. So, these eggs were £2.49. So, £2.49. I might put that in a vase. The run out was actually £3.99. I thought it was 3 dollars so um, £2.49 for them. Not bad. And then these little next, the next items were £5.99. Yeah, these two now I'm going to show you before you, I show you what I picked up from Poundland, the last item. Um, I got these for £5.99. So I got the green bunny. How nice is he? So I've got the green grass bunny. That's to go on the fire. That was £5.99. They do them in cream, white, and I think there's one other colour. So I picked up him. And then I picked up... Now, this is soft, and it? it? feels like silk. For £5.99. Picked up the white one. How cute are these? So these are going to go in my fireplace. Um, it's like a, it's a very soft, shimmery grass kind of feel. But he's softer than that grass one. But he was also, look at the eyes and the nose. He was also 5 99 So I'm going to put them on a display on my fireplace. Mine and Angelo's fireplace. So it picked up them. Now the last item, guys, at Poundland advertised these cups on their Instagram months and months ago. I'd say about five months ago. Could not find them anywhere. Went on to Amazon to see if they sold them because I loved them. They were expensive. But I popped into Poundland today to get some tags and I sent them on the shelf for £2.50. Finally, they'd been put out. So I bought three for £2.50 each. And they are, guys, they're, they're out if you've seen them as well. They are the bubble cups. Um, so if you don't know what it is, it's like a floating cup. So they look lovely with a nice little cup of tea. We need a, a cup to sort out, we're saying that. So they're £2.50 out in Poundland. How far? The bubble cups on in this in stores. So hopefully we've got them in your stores. £2.50 for a cup, quite posh. So we picked up those. I just want to thank you ever, ever so much for watching. Um, and like I said, take a look at my uh, candle little creative business ish hobby uh go and support that if you can if you want remember i'll send you whatever you purchase send you another one for free it comes fully gift pa packaged and remember proceeds do go to cancer research so once again poundland about bloody time thanks for watching remember if you're not subscribed hit my channel uh, subscribe button and until next time, have I missed everything out? Normally I find one thing over in corner that I haven't brought over to the camera. Uh, until next time, I will catch you in my next video.